on chemistry, Kelly Clarkson transforms the ugliness of divorce into a jaw-dropping pop spectacle. During her divorce, Kelly Clarkson experienced a realization. The pop singer understood that only she could completely heal herself, in contrast to the message of her 2015 ballad Piece by Piece, which hailed her talent manager ex-husband Brandon Blackstock for restoring her confidence in men after he abandoned her as a youngster. The pop diva revealed on her talk show in 2020 that it was almost too much to put on someone to do that for you, you have to do that yourself. This realization is made during a three-minute long sequence of barbs at her ex on Clarkson's melancholy new song, Rock Hudson, where the singer not so subtly recalls the song that is dedicated to him and calmly states, by the way, piece by piece, I found out my hero's me. On her 10th studio album, Chemistry, Clarkson shares a number of her realizations, including her own scientific method for moving on from a divorce. It's a story about dealing with the rumors and tabloid coverage of her public split, using pot, making her own mind eternally sunny. Having thoughts of getting revenge, breaking down, hooking up, moving on, and finding herself again. The road to recovery for Clarkson isn't smooth or without its rough spots, rather, it's a winding roller coaster filled with remorse, wrath, and grief. Hell hath no fury like a pop star scorned, after all. In her 14 song pop extravaganza, Clarkson channels the fierce alt rock ethos of her 2007 breakup album My December, as well as swollen Kelly Oak covers like Billie Eilish's Happier Than Ever and Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun and the R&B undercurrent of 2017's Meaning of Life to release her angst. Chemistry is Clarkson's most exposed work since my December, despite the album's abundance of epic choruses accompanied by powerful guitar riffs. This is because a large portion of the song depends on Clarkson's expressive vocals and lyrically frank performance. Her suffering affects chemistry constantly but in varying degrees. On the album's opening track, Skip This Part, Clarkson makes an effort to control it with a slow-burning doo-wop build-up turned soaring rock ballad that is reminiscent of the piercing happier than ever. She snarls, I feel every crack as I realize my destiny, I give in to the taste of betrayal, I try to numb the pain with my sweet Mary Jane, but I know this escape isn't stable. The song Mine, a melancholy ballad that conceals a plan for sweet retribution, comes next. Bitterly pleading, she says, I hope one day someone will capture your heart and hold it tight, make you feel invincible deep inside, and exactly when you think that it's perfect they cross a line, and steal your shine, like you did mine. Later, on the R&B tinge my mistake, she uses sarcasm to tend to her wounds, and on I Hate Love, which incorporates exquisite banjo picking by Steve Martin, she hurls her cynicism at rom-coms like The Notebook and it's complicated for their false representation of romance. With the song Lighthouse, where she is troubled by her effort to remain sober, an allusion to her 2007 alt-rock track about a metaphorical addiction to a destructive relationship, Clarkson's morning finally comes to the fore. Clarkson, though, ain't no damsel. Between the overt jabs at her ex and the examinations of genuine suffering, Clarkson maintains her unshakable optimism about the prospects for love and a path towards self-discovery.